I don't know what it is, but this year, well, okay, maybe not this whole year, forever, okay. So I've been going spending crazy and everyone around me knows it, right Taylor? Fucking, okay. yes, you spend so much money. Like, I literally can't stop, but that's because, I don't know, it's just in me to like buy things. You're doing Gucci. No, I'm not doing Gucci today. You're not wait, you're not gonna show Gucci though? I am gonna show Gucci. <laughs> um, but I've been just buying so much and I think it's because I just want to find my style and because I'm doing a fashion module um, this year I just wanted to like I don't know experiment a little bit even though like nothing here is like out of my comfort zone but some of these things like I wouldn't normally pick up anyway um, so I have like branched out to a new style yeah so in the summer I bought this and this is a Hera top. I got it from TK Maxx for $9.99, which is such a good price. How much did you get it for? $9.99. No way. Yeah, it's unisex. So I found it in the men's mod box section. Now mod box is like all the contemporary, like, not contemporary, what is it? It's like the cool urban brand. This is men's medium. It's really big, it's really oversized. Like I can wear it as a dress. It's not like I'm wearing now. And I've just cinched it in at the waist with this like cargo type strap. Now this looks like a luggage belt strap, but I got it from one of my skirts, which I'll show you in the haul as well. Um, but basically this whole rail mainly houses like all of my new clothes. Basically my whole wardrobe's new. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so this is just a Hera top and it says Hera really like big at the back as well And I've gotten into re like into camo recently. I just really like it. There's this like camo jacket that I really want and um, One of my friends even sent me it and was like you need this. I was like I do yeah, I want to start in chronological order because I got this like ages ago And I don't know if you could get it in TK Maxx anymore. You probably could get it on the Hero website I think I'll just like go through the rail as it is. So as you know, I like to go through like weights of materials and then like trousers and skirts at the end. So I don't know where I'm looking because I have my phone recording because I've run out of memory on both my SD cards. Really bad, I know. Um, so I'm gonna be trying to look at the camera at the same time looking at that. This is a jumper from Pretty Little Thing. I'm a little bit annoyed at myself because I should have got it in a small medium rather than a medium large because I kind of wanted it to be loose fitting because um, normally when I get like smaller clothes it doesn't always like it's not always practical because you can't really move but um, in this case because the material was quite floppy and flimsy I could have gotten away with a small medium and it wouldn't have been too cropped either because like you can just tuck this into your um, high-waisted jeans. But I really like the colour and it was really comfy to wear but I'm just annoyed that I got it in a bigger size than I normally would. So yeah, this was like £15 and it's like just a stone knit. Another jumper. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you would have seen most of these clothes featured on there anyway. Um, but I wore this to the beach to um, Canberra Sands and it was such a nice jumper. But only thing is, like, if you do wear a bra, wear either like a white one or a nude one. Because it is kind of like see-through. You can see the bra, like, even if it's nude. Um, but it's a v-neck jumper and it's got, like, the frilly bits, like, distressing on the neckline. And also, like, at the bottom, which I really, really like. Um, it only comes in like one size, so if you're, I'm a 10, 12 uh, kind of shape, so um, this fits me fine. I kind of wish it was a little bit more um, baggy, but yeah, this was like 15 99 or somewhere on the lines like that. This I got for work because at work it can be cold, even though they turn on the heating now, um, but if they put me in the front of the store, I'll bring this with me to work just in case anyway. At work, we all have to wear all black everything. Um, and so I bought this from Pretty Little Thing. I got it in a size medium because like the small would have been like way too cropped. Medium is quite cropped anyway. And so like I put this on over my long sleeve top that I have on um, and it keeps me wa relatively warm. Oh, 
This is like a really exciting purchase. I really love it so much. So this is like brand new. I When did I get this? I got this on Wednesday last week. So we went to Bista Village and I didn't really buy too much. I was sulking literally like the whole time. I was like, but I wanted to buy something and there's nothing to buy. I really wanted like a Burberry scarf. I didn't have any that I really liked or anything like that. But anyway, so this is a Ralph Lauren Boys um, hoodie but it's kind of like a rugby style top at the same time so here it's got like the buttons come on here it's got buttons so you could do it up do it down whatever it's got the hood and then i just really like this because like on depop i've saved a jumper that has kind of like the same like writing but um the jumper's red and i thought this was quite vintagey looking i didn't <laughs> i didn't really notice that but when i got home i was like oh they've also added like the horse polo man as well but then i also saw the patch of the um american flag really like that addition and then like on the underside of the sleeve um and on like the side of you it has like a red strip as well nice chill outfit this with like a pair of jeans maybe even my gucci belt just be a nice outfit large boys which is an 18 to 20 year old apparently and it was how much 49.99 okay pretty little thing now you'll see kind of like a pattern in this video of like sweatshirts and jumpers and warm things because it's getting to that time of the year where everything's getting a bit colder you want to dress a bit more appropriately to that um so this is like a cropped sweatshirt what is it called like quarter zip sweatshirt um and it's in a sandy stone color i really like this color at the moment it just goes really nicely with the tan and a pair of black jeans bye. really nice outfit bye have a good lecture um and then it has a zip on the sleeve there and it has a zip the quarter zip and then it has pockets as well i really like this feature because i've just had my hands in my pocket the whole time I've worn it about three times now to uni oh that's another thing about me like i won't wear the same outfit in the same week i kind of like to wear one outfit like one day in the week like i'll repeat the outfit the next week but i won't like i don't know anyway so that's that i think that was whew, i'm normally good with prices i can remember things really well um i think this was 20 pounds or somewhere along the lines this is a brand new addition to the wardrobe as well i haven't worn it yet but i saw it in brandy melville like i've never been to brandy melville before and when we popped in i was just like whoa this is nice this is a vibe i saw this and this was 32 pounds and it only comes in one size that's the thing with brandy melville though like some of the products are only doing one size which is kind of annoying because what if you're a little bit bigger if you're like smaller than that but yeah i thought this would be really nice for uni again but i'm really scared that i'm gonna get like foundation all over this oh just like that would just be a nightmare and before i never really liked having anything that said like places that i've never been before like i don't buy into that because like I want to have been there and then have the top if you know what I mean but I just really really like this um it just says Los Angeles 1984 and then with the flag as well don't know what it is but I just really like it it's just really simple as well I think with like a nice pair of like cycling shorts like sandy nudie ones with this that's a vibe with like white um nike air force and then from running across from that we have this guy this is from the men's section and um, this is a men's sweatshirt from urban outfitters i got it in a large um ideally i would have got it in an extra large because then it would be longer to wear as like a jumper dress um but you can wear this with cycling shorts as i have before for uni and everyone thought i was crazy because it was quite cold that day but anyway style and it just says champions usa and then something else that i can't read and it also has the flag there i've got something like i've got the american stuff just running through me at the moment but it's just a really nice color it's really cozy really comfy as well so two polo necks from two different like brands like totally different so this one's m s and this one's primark basically they do the same job um, but this one kind of like washed worse than this one. Obviously they're kind of like made of like different materials. Um, 
This one was £17.50. Oh, that jumper from Urban Outfitters was £45? Yeah, it was. And yeah, so this polo neck was £17.50, got it in a size 10. And this one is Primark, and I think it was £6, and it was in a size small, which is now a 10 to 12 in Primark. I've been wearing these quite a bit because it's been like really warm and it goes with my um furry gilet which i'll show you in a bit but then i also bought them to wear under dresses and like under like the crop sweatshirt would look really cool as well like a vibe like, under a sweatshirt with a high neck top like that's a look um, taylor looks nice <laughs> <laughs> imagine if i actually left the heart it's like i mean you could just oh. change your shoes could you no i could not do that I can't know what it's so weird. No, I'm gonna put jeans on when I go. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> a drink. A drink? Mm, can I have a cup of tea, please? A cup of, a a cup of tea. A cup of tea. A cup of tea. A cup of tea. These two are basically the same. Oh, I might as well get the other one as well. <laughs> Where is it? It's on my bed. Um, they're all basically the same top. I had to get them at different times in my life. You know when you just do an order on Pretty Little Thing? You can't just pick up like one item. You have to like buy everything. Because if they have that good discount code for like 20% off, you're like, fuck it, need it. Um, so this top is Pretty Little Thing and it's just a button down. Now I ordered this thinking it was a thong um, bodysuit, but it wasn't. Um, I should have read it properly, but it's just a top, but it's long enough where you can like properly tuck it into your jeans and not worry about it slipping out at any point. But again, it's in that sand nude color and it has these really nice white buttons as well, but the white buttons, they're speckled. Please focus, phone. See, I don't know how you would make it focus on your phone. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, so it has like little gray speckles on it, which is really cute. I think this was like 15 pounds, 12 pounds, not really sure, but I wear it like all the way like unbuttoned because it does that thing where the buttons gape if i do it or up i got this in a size 10 and then also i got this in a size 10 as well another pretty little thing now this one is a um button down bodysuit um and it has like the popper buttons instead so you've got like popper buttons at the bottom and then you've got popper buttons at the top area now i can do it like one button undone and wear the rest like so and um, this one's really cozy um, it's a really nice piece for layering as well. And then this one I saw in Hollister. All right, so I was looking for a bodysuit in Hollister for like wearing like at a night out um, with my friends for drinks. Um, but I ended up buying this instead. <laughs> I thought I could wear this for like drinks, but I didn't end up wearing this. Anyway, long story short, this is a really nice ribs. Oh, they're all ribbed by the way. Ribs, long sleeve top. Again, it's got buttons, but this time it's got like the metal buttons all the way down so it's almost like a cardigan but it's not it's a long like slim ribbed tee i got it in a medium which fits really nice as well and it's not a color that i normally go for because it's like a burgundy really wine I both my cups upstairs. yeah both my cups oh i'm so sorry definitely put those on wine <laughs> um yeah but i've worn this traveling and oh my gosh, it's so, so comfy and really warm on the arms as well. Maybe not so much on the chest because it is quite like, it's, it probably stops there, like to the top of your boobs. And if you pulled your boobs up, you'd have like cleavage. Anyway, um, you can adjust it according to the buttons. So yeah, I really like this, it's really comfy. That was 13 99 in the sale and that body suits, I don't know. When it comes to online things, I can't really remember because I don't really look at the price when it comes to online. I just assume that it's gonna be cheap. Okay, some top shoppy bits. They have been banging out things like so good. Like they've got some really good basics in at the moment. And I want a couple of their tops, which look a bit like this. This I should put in the haul as well because I still have it and I haven't put it in a haul yet. This is just a top shop like cropped oversized top. I got it in a small, oh, in an extra small, small. But I think I could do with a medium large because with this top, I really like to like, um, tie it up at the waist and it's a really nice going out for drinks outfit or you could wear it out out when you wear a co-ord like paired with a denim skirt denim jacket 
really nice vibe to have and it's just really chill as well so i'm looking to get like the other colors of this top this was 10 pounds but these two body suits are basically the same i didn't get the pink because taylor has the pink i don't really know if i'd suit it that well so i got the black and i got the khaki only thing is with Topshop bodysuits, I wish they were thong ones, but they don't like bang them out. They only have like high leg. Then you can also like see the VP visible pant line, VPL, um, because it's got kind of like a thick lining to it. They're a bit thicker than like other bodysuits that I've had and they're ribbed as well. They're really comfortable to wear. I've worn this under a jumper before to keep me warm and um, yeah, so I've just used it as like layering pieces. But also when I'm stuck for something to go out in, I think I'm just gonna wear one of these with a skirt. Um, I've worn this one before, but I haven't worn this one yet. Um, this was 14 pounds and I both got them in a size 10. Yeah, you wouldn't have seen this top yet in a haul. You would have seen it on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. Um, but this is a guest top that I've been wanting for like, like throughout the whole of summer, I knew I wanted to get a guest top and wear it oversized with like a pair of shorts or something like that. I finally settled for this one because I really like the colorway. I also really wanted like the guest ASAP Rocky, like one of their like collabs, but they always like sell out and then everyone who sells it on Depop is like up in the price and like everyone, yeah, it's just a bit annoying. But I got this one luckily for 50 pounds. I think, or 60, either 50 or 60, I can't remember. Thank you. Um, she's made me a cup of tea, how nice is that? We make each other cups of tea. Um, I bought two pairs of jeans um, recently, both River Island. The other one's just gonna go in the wash soon. Um, both Harper jeans, although they have changed it. So the ones that I put in the wash for now, they're more like a jegging style and I always buy the Harper style. Now I think they updated it because the material's a little bit thinner and also with the other pair, the pocket here is fake. Like you can't put your hand through it, which is really annoying because this pair I also bought recently, but you can put your finger, like your hands through the pocket, which is like, what, why have you changed it? Um, anyway, um, they're like my favorite pair of like jeans to wear for work um, and also like, this pair I'll wear for like day to day and the other pair I'll keep for work. That's why I need two pairs of black jeans. And they're 40, no they're not. River Island jeans, they're 35 pounds. <sighs> okay, onto the skirts. Now, um, I don't know what it is, but everyone's just like been on the skirt game. And this one, I just saw it in Topshop and I was like, Jasmine, can you reach up for me and get that please? Because I need it. It came with this belt, but obviously like you can like take it out and put it on like other things. It doesn't really work well with like trousers or anything because it's quite a thick buckle. So yeah, this is a really nice cargo inspired skirt. It has like the flaps, <laughs> the flaps. It has like pocket detailing here, like on the sides and also like normal pockets as well. And, but it looks really cool, like with like an all black outfit and a pair of heels for a night out. I've done that and literally got wrecked on that night. <laughs> um, and then I got this skirt also from Topshop. Oh, both of these are in a size 10. I saw this online and I was gonna order it before uni started, but they all of them were like sold out, which really like annoyed me and I just forgot about it. And then I got a replacement for it anyway. So, this has actually gold hardware that's like almost silver you can't really tell um but it's a really nice comfortable going out skirt and i paired it with like a bodysuit which shit i have loads of bodysuits as well there's so much more clothing as well and i've got like sleeping wear to show you too because you need it um anyway so this was i think 42 pounds because of the buckles um, the detailing and I've always wanted like a leather like or PU skirt um, this one I was gonna wear for a night out for the bar crawl because it just looks like a really nice like simple like I want to set a photo simple skirt and this is River Island I got it when they did like 20% off for students because they rarely do that um, and this skirt I got it in size six, which is the most surprisingest thing in the world. Oh my God, I was wearing this outfit 
lol. Um, anyway, so this is just another plain like PU skirt um, with like silver hardware and I got it in size six. This was 26 pounds, I think. But that's like all like my new clothes. I have done a separate haul as well for like urban outfitters. I've been there quite often and I should really stop. I've got a couple new accessories as well. So here we have just like a crocodile, crocodile or snake skin print, like just like a side bag. Um, because like my June bag is quite like chunky, I hit people in the club sometimes and it's not the most comfortable one because it is an all chain strap. This one's just a thinner strap and it's just like, I think they call it a camera bag or something. And like, I can just keep my cash there and then like anything else just like rummaging through there. And it's just like a small one for like going out. I think this was 12 pounds from ASOS. And then this one is a furler bag. You know, I've been wanting a furler bag for like a long time and they came in to TK Maxx. There was a navy blue one and this like bright pink color. Normally I wouldn't go for something like this, but um, I really like was attracted to it. Like it had the gold hardware and then like you open it up like so. And I think it would be like really nice for like going out for cocktails or some like meal in the evening or something like that. Cause you wouldn't bring too much. And like I can fit my phone and my card holder easily in this. Um, I mean, I wouldn't wear it with this outfit, but you could, I suppose, if you like mixing up your style a little bit. Um, but this was, how much was it? 59.99, which isn't too bad for what it is. And then this is kind of like the best investment yet that I've made of this year. Um, this is like my first designer item um, ever. And this is the Gucci belt. Now this is the men's one because the men's one is slightly cheaper. It's 270 and I prefer the textured like leather to it. So it looks like that. Has a GG there. It's quite heavy as well, it's quite weighted. If you know me like personally, then I've been umming and ahhing, oh, sorry, about this belt for a long time. And basically I've just been waiting for it to come back into stock for like the sizing. So I went with a size 75, which I'm so glad I did because because my weight fluctuates quite a bit. Like you can like really adjust it accordingly. So like one day, if I'm super bloated, um, I'll be on the first hole, which is bad because it shouldn't be there ever really. Like it'll be there. Oh my gosh, some days I put on this much weight. Oh my gosh. Anyway, and then some, but it also depends on like where your jeans sit. But most days, now I can't get it out. Um, most days I'll use the second hole or the third hole in. Like so. Like if I was, I could wear it with this outfit, but it's a little bit too bougie like that. Like if I was going out for drinks, maybe I'd put this on. Sometimes like if I'm wearing, a sweatshirt or like a knitwear, like some piece of knitwear, I'll pop it on like, and it will look like that. And then that will be like a really nice like touch to it, like more elevated. But I try not to wear it too often because I don't want to be going around uni like, oh, just like trying to flash something because I'm not like, I'm really like grateful about it. And I've worked hard for it. And it's been something that's like play been playing on my mind for a long time. I just needed it in my life. Like, it's just something special that I'm gonna cherish. And I wear belts every single day. Thing is though, sometimes if I'm having it a bit too high, like on my jeans, it pulls. So like the belt has kind of like worn. Um, but that's happened to like all of my belts, even like my Ralph Lauren belt as well. Okay, so don't mind that there, that's just drying because it's on the radiator. But here I have like, oh all of my loungewear because I don't have any drawers so I can't really fold anything up. I only have my bedside um, drawers which house like my underwear and um, some like other house clothes as well. This rail um, houses all of my house clothes and pajamas. Um, I'm trying to see how I can like stand or sit or something. So 
I got I bought two new 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 dressing gowns for uni and I have like a pinky like colour and then a grey colour. I just interchange them like this one's super clean at the moment and this one I've been currently wearing every day. I think they were like £12 each. And then this one, I'm undecided as to like, oh, I just need the light back in. Sorry, gonna have to change this again. I'm undecided as to wear this for like, just like lectures or just lounging around in because it's in that material where um, it's like waffly and you could wear it in or out the house. Um, again, this is like boys and I got it in the large and it was 29.99 but these I have another set of so it's not sold in a set but um you can just like change like your sizes depending on like bigger or smaller but both of these I got in an extra small and it's just in like this really nice like ribbed material and it's kind of like in this like velvet kind of thing and it's a light pink wash um got the matching like bottoms to it too um, and they're cuffed at the bottom as well, so they keep you warm. Um, I really like wearing them for pyjamas. And they were like £8 a piece. Then <laughs> I did a poll on my Instagram the other day because I've been wanting like a really nice pair of pyjamas for like ages. I'll probably wear this for like Christmas. This is from Gilly Hicks. Um, I got the top in a small and the bottoms in a medium. I was originally going to go for the shorts, but I didn't think it would be practical for now. Um, so maybe later in the year I will get the shorts. Um, but the shorts, the trousers were £27 and the top was £25. One last final thing in the haul is this. This is just a fur gilet that I got from like a small boutique in Bath and it's called Portman. Um, but yeah, it was £59.50 and it's just so like luxurious feeling and it gives you that luxurious looking vibe. Um, like with a Gucci belt, polo neck top, jeans, pair of boots, you're good to go. Only thing is, I wish it had pockets, um, but it's cropped at the back and then it kind of like waterfalls down at the front. But it's so like fluffy and like big and like, I really like it. But yeah, okay, that is everything that I've bought so far. If I do remember anything else, um, that's just gonna not be featured okay so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed watching the haul um and seeing what i've bought um i'll try and try on all the outfits or like pieces now um because i kind of like have the day 